you can protect a worksheet that has a pivot table on it and still let people use that pivot table, but there will be some restrictions on the pivot table functions. On this worksheet, we've got one blue cell that we would like people to be able to change and everything else, the other formulas and cells we want to keep locked. We'd like them to be able to select a specific delivery date over in the pivot table. So with this blue cell selected, we're going to make sure it's unlocked before we protect the worksheet. On the ribbons home tab in the cells group, I'll click format and go down to lock cell. I can see that it's on, so I'll click to turn it off. The other cells are all locked, so now we're going to protect the sheet. On the ribbon, go to the review tab and click protect sheet. In the options, add a check mark to anything you'd like users to be able to do. And we've got a check mark here for use pivot table reports. I'm not going to put in a password, I'll just click OK. So now we can select from here that we get a message, a warning message, if we try and type in that cell, and we're able to select a date from this drop down. However, there are some things that we can't do in the pivot table. If I click on a cell, if I right click, I can see that some of the options here, the commands are gray, like refresh. We can't refresh the pivot table when the worksheet is protected. And we can't format the cells. Uh, there are other things like grouping and, and the report layout and calculated fields and items that we just can't use when the worksheet is protected, even if we have allowed use of the pivot table. So to do some of those things, you'd have to unprotect the sheet, refresh, and then protect it again.